So looking for four key criteria when we're aggregating 30 odd stocks into building a portfolio. Uh, the first of which is a better balance sheet. So we want uh, less gearing effectively for the companies that we invest in and thus for the, the aggregate portfolio relative to the market. We want better earnings growth potential in the underlying businesses that we're owning uh, relative to the market. We want better cash flow characteristics, i.e. The, the underlying assets that the businesses own actually generate more cash than, than, uh, than the market, relative to the market that is. And we also want um, a lower valuation. So we want the starting point, i.e. the multiples, uh, whether it's PE or whatever, price to earnings ratio, to be uh, somewhat cheap relative to the market. And over time, we've found that when you get those four key criteria right, you get uh, our performance. Well, we're very conscious about risk, but our job is to take risk to you know, generate the returns, to, to make the rewards. So you'll find that over time, our concentration can wax and wane. Sometimes the portfolio is more concentrated or less concentrated than other times. And right now, we see particularly significant opportunities in uh, a couple of key sectors which we've touched on, energy and materials. So our concentration in those sectors, some of which include very big names of the likes of BHP, uh, right now is very high. So absolutely we're concentrated in, in, in some key sectors, but that's where we think the upside is and, and that's why we're here. Well, macro sort of helps inform the view. It's not the be all and end all necessarily of how the portfolio is positioned because we're still very much bottom up stock pickers if you like so we're most interested in uh, the very the stock specifics of the particular companies that we're investing in however you can't ignore the overarching macro backdrop particularly for the likes of commodity companies where you know a lot of those commodity prices are very economically sensitive so so the upshot is when we see opportunity when we see a supportive economic backdrop then you know we will go for you know where we perceive the most upside to be in some of those economically sensitive names but equally the reverse can be true where the macro backdrop is not supportive then you know we'll pare back the risk in the fund and get and get more defensive so that's how we use macro sort of from a from a top down